right, the strawberry table is basically one of the four NFT tables that was converted to uh, drip irrigation instead of NFT use. So the, cha the NFT channels that I'm using are basically now used as drip irrigation gutter channels to carry the water back into the nutrient tank. And what I've done, if you were to sit the rockwell cubes directly into the channels, they would, they would sit on the very bottom and there wouldn't be enough space on either side of the channel in order for the water to flow down. So what I've done is I added a piece of plastic that has about a three quarter of an inch gap on each side and also on the ends uh, to allow for a room for the drain water to drain down into the channel, excuse me, into the reservoir. And it's just draining to the main uh, drain pipe that's connected to all of the NFT channels. And as far as the supply, we got the same supply pipe that's supplying the NFT channels, except for this one, I have it on a separate electric valve. So that way, it'll just turn on every once in a while, instead of continuously, that you need for the NFT. And then, uh, it goes to two dripper tubes, and then the dripper tubes are just basically quarter-inch, 12-inch um, spacing drip emitters that are um, half a gallon per hour flow. And I have them located to, this. basically the strawberries are spaced uh, 12 inches apart, so that way each of the two dripper tubes basically falls right at the strawberry plant. The trays are spaced about 20 inches apart on center, and um, you know, uh, they look a little sparse now, but as the, plant mat the plants mature and fill out with foliage, this will pretty much be covered up and uh, the reason why I, I went with this particular spacing is so that way you can harvest berries from both sides of the uh, slabs without being you know be, without it being so cluttered to where you gotta really fish to find the, the the berries you know with this type of a layout you know the berries kinda you know hang down on both sides of the slab and uh, you can easily you know grab them from both sides as needed. The plants themselves were planted uh, three weeks ago from uh, bare root uh, that I, uh, Albion variety that I ordered by mail and the way they were planted is basically with this little homemade aluminum strawberry planting tool that just basically has a smooth uh, half oval uh, hole in here so that way you can place your root in here and then just basically shove it into the rock wall at an angle um, and that's basically it the plants are still young so I'm cutting off all of the blossoms to kind of have give them a chance to establish and uh, develop a nice root system and some foliage and you can probably see some tip burn on these and that's because the humidity level in here has been quite low since there is not enough foliage to generate humidity. So recently I've added a humidifier you know, to boost the humidity up to 70%.